This is the Mbibo Replay main unit. Today we are using Mbibo Replay 3G, which has a maximum of six inputs and two outputs. In the rear, there is USB, LAN as a display port and Dante audio output port. When you start the Mvivo app, the GUI screen appears immediately like this. Mvivo Replay is Windows based, so it can be operated using a keyboard and a mouse. Or by your finger if the monitor is touch screen compatible. In addition, Mvivo Replay can be operated with a dedicated controller, which we will explain later. Let me now go on to explain the operation of Mvivo Replay. First of all, you can see a total of 8 screens at the top of the screen. The Mvivo Replay has a maximum of 2 outputs. The three screens on each side are the video input to the Mvivo Replay. The video on the large screen can be played back in slow motion reverse playback or frame by frame playback all possible by intuitive controls to return to live video from reverse playback or slow motion press the round button in the top left corner of the screen Next, look at the areas marked in and out at the bottom of the big screen. These are the buttons for creating clips from the current output video. Select the end point where you want the clip to start and the out point where you want it to end. If you press the Add Clip button to the right of the clip, the clip you created will be placed in the bin. And you will see that the bin contains five different clips in addition to the one you just created. This is a feature of Mvivo Replay. When you create a clip with one angle, the footage from different angles at the same timing are also clipped together. For example, when judging whether a baseball player is safe or out, you can instantly see the footage from six different perspectives, which helps prevent misjudgments. Furthermore, the clips can be exported in MP4 format. Next, we would like to create a playlist using the save clips. The creation process is very simple. Simply drag and drop the clips you have just created into the playlist field. It is also possible to enter the playlist directly from here by typing in and out points as before. You can also add effects such as Dissolve within the playlist. You can also edit the playlist to change to a different angle. Or shorten the time. When the playlist is played back, it looks like this. Of course, you can export the playlist file, just like we did in Clips.
As mentioned at the beginning, the system is Windows based, so operations such as Control C, Control V, and Control A can be used. We can also operate the NVivo Replay with a dedicated NVivo Replay controller. Buttons A, 2F, are to change the viewpoint. Buttons 1 and 2 are to select output. In and out buttons are for creating clips. Add list and add clip buttons are for creating clips and playlists directly. There is also a control bar that allows you to change the video playback speed and a jaw control that allows playback and reverse playback. Next, we are going to explain the logo insertion function. In the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, press Properties, and a button labeled Edit will appear at the bottom. We can then add a logo from the Add menu. If you want to add a logo from external media, you can do it from Import. Finally, Envibo Replay can share clips and playlists we have created to social media. First, press the arrow at the top of the main screen. Next, select the social media you want to share on the screen. And just click and post. Harness the power at your fingertips 